How's the wind today, Greg? It's looking good. It's better than last night. <laughs> <laughs> it was probably shaking, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, last night I, I was like, are we on a boat? Are we in a van? <laughs> good morning. Today we are in Duness and we are heading to Wick via John Agro. So we've got about 175k, 172, I can't remember. Um, so yeah, that's what we've got today. Hopefully the wind is going to be westerly, so it's going to push us along, fingers crossed. Um, and just fingers crossed we don't get any rain. But it is Scotland, so <laughs> I'm not ruling it out. Do you know a little bit? Okay, I'm just going to get back inside the warm van. <laughs> Ready, Greg? Let's do this. What gradient do you think that was? Um, around the top there, maybe, maybe 20. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to miss it off for two minutes and just climb up a little switchback climb. I've not been riding that long but it started to rain so as usual putting the camera away and then hopefully we're gonna ride into some nice dry sunny warm swelling weather but it's Scotland so who knows <laughs> We're a little bit off route. <laughs> My, um, as much as I love this Garmin, the touchscreen just locks. It's officially the NT500, but we were gonna sort of cut through along the coast and yeah. do a bit of a sneaky way. But we haven't. But we haven't. Guess where we are? Tongue. So after like the mega winds this morning, we have been getting like mostly tailwind, haven't we? Yeah. Some pretty good tailwind. And then we keep getting really hot and then really cold and then really hot. So we just check it on, check it off, check it on. But fingers crossed it's going to be the westerly wind all the way. Because when I've turned back, it's been pretty, pretty strong headwind. So we are very lucky and it is so dry. Apart from that little bit this morning, but yeah. So we're in Tom. Heading for What's it called? Thursday. Is that how you say it? Thursday Thursdays. It's, it's, it's short for Thursday. Is it? Yeah. How do you know that? It's the original Scottish Is it? folklore. Yeah. The guy the guy who first discovered the town was born on a Thursday. That's not true. And You're so, just making all this shit up. <laughs> no, it's true. Look it's it up. Google it when you I'm get gonna it. I want to Google it. I want to Google it. Look it up. <laughs> Richard, do you believe? I don't believe it at all. No, I don't. No. Know. So we're about 100k and we've got 100. And, did I mention? Yeah, we've got about 175k to do today. So yeah, just stopping off at the lovely motorhome to get some lunch and then yeah, heading on my way. We did get a little bit wet, but to say it's Scotland and the forecast, like we've done really well. It was like a heavy drizzle. So get some food, then be on our merry way. I'm ready for some grub. Do the old unzip. Unzip a Rooney. So we've made it over to John O'Groves. It's definitely a really nice memory of when I did Land's End John O'Groves last year. It's probably about the same time actually, so it's really nice to come back. We've done Inverness <laughs> to John O'Groves, uh, so slightly shorter, but yeah, it's good. The weather has been so kind to us. Had a tailwind pretty much all the way here today, so yes, yeah, very happy. It stayed dry, 
so yeah, now we're heading on to Wick, which is about 40k away maybe, 30k. So yeah, just want to head back. Have, you been, have either of you been here before? Not John and Road. Yeah, in a car. Have you? It's nice, isn't it? It's fucking nice. Yeah, it's it's got that cool kind of edge of the world sort of yeah. feel to it. I know, it's just uh, the edge of quite a small island. But, uh, <laughs> No, it's cool. I like seeing everyone arrive and I, I do like the energy that's here. And you probably want to keep an eye on your bike. Yeah, <laughs> it's just like... Boop, boop. But I guess, I genuinely, like what we were saying before, you're so excited when we see you. I'm like, it's a floor crew! There she goes. Going by in a minute. All the signs. <laughs> Always a death call. Right, so one of our favourite parts of this camper is... Careful. <laughs> Whoops! I've got, got a drunk cameraman behind me. <laughs> um, I don't think Sarah is a fan of this, but for the cyclists of us riding, this. Are you ready for this? Dun, dun. Dun! Some think it's a bathroom, but not so. Not for us cyclists, we call it just shove everything that stinks in there to dry out. Pretty much. <laughs> shoes are wet every day. Like, I don't know how you guys are doing it, but... Overshoes. My shoes are just wet through every single day. Overshoes! But, with this, they're bone dry in the morning. Because there's a heater. There's a heater right there, and so there. it works as like a, a little mini just sauna. There. It's a little sauna, everything it's, is dry. Well, it's not dried a sauna because it's dry, but <laughs> no, it's vented, so. Yeah. Nicely done. All sweet. All sweet, mate. So the usual evening ritual is. Because we could even. Doll. Go down and weather. Let's have a look at the weather for tomorrow. So this is tomorrow morning. We're going from here. Good. From here. Oh. Down towards Inverness. So we're going to have crosswind. We're going to have that crosswind all the way, pretty much. But is there a lot of rain? Tonight. The rain looks okay. Yeah. I thought yeah. we called them yesterday. Okay. So it's not too bad. <clears throat> too but we, we could do it. We'll do it. It's not about these gloves. Look at them. It's your tip, isn't it, for good cheap gloves? It is. I'm going to get sponsored. Tw how much were they? By Wonder Group. <laughs> <laughs> How much were they? 79p. Bargain, bargain. B&Q. Thank you, baby. B&Q for all your cycling needs. 